this video, I will be sharing 10 free seamless transitions with you. These transitions are a part of my 100 seamless transitions pack that I released a few months ago. The pack features over 100 transitions across 22 different categories, which can help you speed up your workflow and enhance your visuals. If you have the budget, you can go for the full pack or you can download the free sample pack that includes 10 transitions. I have provided the links in the description so that you can check them out. Now let me show you how you can use these transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot in making more amazing videos. All right, after downloading a free or paid pack, you will receive a zip file. To begin, unzip it. Inside, you will find a preset file that needs to be imported into Premiere. To do this, go to the effects and right click on the presets folder. Then, select Import Preset and choose the preset file. Once imported, you will have access to all the transitions in the pack. This sample pack only includes one or two transitions in each folder, but it will give you an idea of what to expect in the full pack. Now, let's talk about how to use these transitions. There are two methods. The first is to cut the original footage and nest it, then apply the transitions. The second method is to use transitions through adjustment. I will show you both methods one by one. I have some video clips here, Let's add transitions between them. To do this, drag your playhead between the clips. The duration of the transition is up to your personal preference. I recommend using 10 to 20 frame transitions. To achieve this, simply cut both footages for 10 frames. You can use your arrow keys to count frames or hold down shift and press the left or right arrow keys to move five frames at a time. Once you reach the 10th frame, cut your footage by pressing Ctrl plus K. Repeat this process for the other clip. Great. Now select both of these clips and nest them. You can apply any transition you like on this nested clip. Let's try the flash transition. It looks good. You can also use the adjustment layer for using these transitions. Create an adjustment layer, place it above your video footage, and drag it to the middle of the two clips. Next, you need to cut down the adjustment layer to 20 frames. To find the midpoint of the layer, you can either count frames one by one or hold the shift and right arrow keys. When you reach frame five, press the right arrow key twice to get to frame 10. Once you have found the midpoint, add a marker by pressing the M key. This will make it easier to drag the transition between the two video clips. You can now add any transition you want to use. You can use any method for using these transitions. I prefer the adjustment layer because you can make a copy of it at any time and apply it multiple times in the video. If you want to improve your editing skills, I highly recommend checking out my full 100 transitions pack. All the links are mentioned in the description below. Thank you to everyone who has purchased my packs. You can support my work on Patreon and receive exclusive rewards. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.